Hi everyone. Natalie challenged me to go live today, even though I didn't want to. So, challenge accepted. Just not having a very good day. Wonder how all you guys are doing. Let me know. We're just gonna do a, I don't know, just a basic makeup today. Um, and if you guys want to see something, you can let me know. Hop on here. And I will do my best to fulfill your, hi Sierra, um, wishes. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to do a basic look. And I'm going to show you guys how I use some products. Hi Laura. Hey Kayla. Um, how I use some products. Hi Ann. Um, not necessarily what they're meant for, if that makes sense. But, um, I'm just going to show you how I use them because makeup is fun. It's subjective. You're supposed to be able to, um, whoa, girl. Okay. That was pixelating for a minute there. Um, it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be something difficult and, you know, put it on if you want to. If you don't, whatever. Sometimes it makes you feel a little bit better about yourselves. Hi, Jamie. And I think that's what I need today is just a little bit of something because I'm just not feeling it today. I've had a lot of pain this morning, so I'm kind of off my game, if you will. And I'm the queen of never getting anything ready beforehand, so I got to open my primer. What's everybody doing today? So kids are home from school. But, you know. Okay, hi Melanie. I'm just going to prep my face with a little bit of primer. Oh, Melanie, you're so nice. So I just take a little bit of primer. I dot it. Helps keep a barrier between your skin and the elements also helps make your skin nice and smooth for your foundation and stuff and sometimes I'll just wear this with um, the powder and uh, some mascara and that'll be it for the day so okay so I've got my Hi, Kelsey. I've got my primer on. Now I'm going to use the BB cream here. I'm more of a BB cream, not quite as full coverage person. I will wear the foundation when I want full coverage, but um, nine times out of ten, I just use this BB cream. It, um, it helps with the condition of your skin as well, so uh, that's kind of what I go to. Whoa, this is light. It looks really, really light, but hey, Mama, how are you? How's that little girl of yours? She over all her crud. All the kids are getting. Once I put on my BB cream, this helps protect your face from the sun. Gives it some extra nutrients and moisture, some vitamins, minerals. And see, it just evens out my face because I do have a lot of redness. And I have some acne scarring. Deep dark circles because, you know, this mama don't sleep very well. If I could sleep my, my kids. Good. I'm glad she's getting back to normal. All that crap that's going around. We had kids get RSV and all that sort of stuff. It was terrible. Hated it. This is my mirror I'm using because I'm so prepared today. Hopefully you didn't see any of my crap on my table. Okay, so... 
I mean, I've done this without looking before, and it turns out good. So there, just even canvas. And then I'm going to take a little bit of if you can't see this, concealer there. This isn't as thick and cakey as um, some concealers I've used that kind of get stuck in my lines and wrinkles and that stuff. And I do have dark circles to conceal. I should have done one side so you could see the difference. But, I mean, you can even tell the difference right here. Hey Melanie, how's your uh, your little one doing? Is she all better after that whole episode of sickness and there? Now brightens it up. I do drag it across my lid, so I do have a little bit of um, it. My eyelid primed. What do we want to see today, kids? Let's see, you can see, and if you really are, I mean, if I really want to make it look good, I do on either side of my nose where it gets dark right there and above my lip and that brightens it all up, makes it look even because I do not have a good even skin tone otherwise. And that BB cream is really light. You don't even feel like it's on. So that's a bonus. Um, at this point you could use some um, powder if you want, but really this is really matte, so I don't really feel the need to use a ton of powder. So, that's that. Now this is the Luminizer Powder. I'm in natural light here, so everything you see is natural light. Um, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Um... So, if you want to use it for a little highlight, right there, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell. Tell me if you can tell. It just gives a little highlight right there. See that? And that's just how I use it, because I don't want a lot of, this doesn't have that glitter in it. I hate the ones that have the big chunks of glitter. Ridiculous. And then I just use that to set my base on my eyes. I mean, it'll brighten. It sets it. Perfect. Don't need much else. Hey, neighbor. How are you? Watching me do my makeup. And see, this is just a little... When you want it to look natural, you can use this luminizing powder. This is in Benevolent. And it just brightens up. Makes it look like it's coming from within as opposed to those highlights that you see that are like, bam, I like those, but sometimes I like a more natural approach. So, that's what I use that for. And, I don't know you guys, I don't normally do eyebrows, and Natalie would be yelling at me if I would not do eyebrows, but I've challenged myself excuse me, to do this makeup look with as few of products as I have as I can. So I've only used three so far. I've used the primer, the BB, which you could get away with just using this and it'd be fine, and the concealer. So what I've got here is the, the palette that you get when you sign up to be a presenter. And if you all want to hear about that or the makeup subscription or anything else, let me know. But they give you a nice neutral palette to start with. You don't have to sell it after that if you don't want it. You just get a ton of makeup for a really good price. What I'm going to attempt to do, and I'm going to challenge um, Natalie to do the same thing, is to do a full face with 
just um, what you get in the presenter's kit. Because that's going to be... Because she has to have her brows. Well, I have to have my brows too. But you notice the only brow-like shade. This is a mauve pink. This is a skin... I mean, it's a satin blush. And then this is more of a taupey blush gray. The only one I have is this little baby up here. So... What I'm going to attempt to do, and I'm only using the brushes that come in the kit. So I've got the fluffy crease brush and the cream shadow brush, which I use for everything. And I've got my towel to wipe off my brushes. I'm going to attempt, as you guys fall over, to use this lovely brown for my brows. This is going to be interesting. Nat Natalie will get a kick out of Y'all get a kick out of this because... You know, this is just for fun. I mean, come on. How many makeup looks can you watch in one day? I am going to tell. See, now I took the tiniest little bit. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is like Natalie's brow color, not mine. Oh, goodness. We're scared. We're scared. We're going for it. We're going in. And I don't have any eyebrows, so this is like draw by numbers here. I just want to show you that. Even with a minimum amount of makeup, you can do a ton of different fun things. You don't have to have every single thing. You know, if you have this and then you want to work your way up, that's great. If you have this and you don't want to drag around a ton of makeup like when you're on vacation or whatever, then this will show you kind of the possibilities. So, like I said, I'm using just what's in my presenter's kit, the first kit that you get. And I'm going to do a full face with just that. Um, the only thing that might not be in it, I think you get foundation instead of BB cream, but I really do like this BB cream. Um, and the primer, which you could do without. But, okay, so, not too bad, right? If you want a real good laugh, <laughs> go watch the video I'll I did with Natalie on Saturday. I did her makeup and I do brows a lot different than her. I usually use a, a spoolie, you know, and some gel. And uh, we had an interesting brow catastrophe on there. So you should go watch that. And you'll be like, what the heck? That girl don't know what she's doing. Heck no. Let's see. Okay, so this is just this darkest shade in the palette that you get in the presenters kit okay so I'm gonna attempt to make my eyebrows friends I they're not gonna be twins and we're hoping for sisters but I'll settle for friends because uh, I don't have much brows and that's harder because you don't have a shape to really follow when your brows are non-existent as mine are like I said I'm only using the stuff in the presenters kit with the exception of maybe the BB cream and I'm only using the brushes that come in the presenters kit hey Kelsey how's little Emmett he's so adorable he's gotten so much bigger so this is eyeshadow brows this is a this is a dark shadow. It's not actual, like, pigment or anything. So there you go. We did the brows with the brown in this palette. They don't look red. Look okay. Look okay, everybody? Yeah? No? Maybe so? I don't know. You know, I've got this cream shadow in the shade Noble. It is a purple shimmer satin color. And I was trying to think if I should use that for eyeliner, you think? The other the other cream showers you can use for lip stuff. That that works awesome. I know that. I've done that before. Okay, let's see. Let's get serious here. Okay, now. Remember, I'm only using these two brushes. 
because that's what comes in the kit. Because I want to prove to myself and everybody else that you don't have to have a ton of things in your makeup kit. So I'm going to take the fluffy crease brush and I think I'm going to go into this, it's agile, this purpley, mauvey purpley, whatever you call it. Natalie, that makes fun of me tapping off my brushes. Remember, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I don't even have a mirror here because I'm that prepared. So not only am I using stuff for other purposes, I'm using this tiny itty bitty mirror. So if it goes horribly, horribly wrong, you'll, I, I can blame some of those. So what I'm going to do is I close my eye and you feel your bone right here. And I kind of just stick the brush right underneath that bone. And I swirl it in the corner first and then I just follow that ridge you don't even have to have a mirror for this part I mean you can feel you just swirl at the corner and pull it in and that makes it pretty dark and then you can go in the further back you hold the brush the lighter the pressure will be so I hold it way back here and then I take that and I just blend it up ever so slightly I don't, I need the crease to be faked up higher. Hi, Becky. Um, I need the crease to be faked up higher since I have hooded eyes. So I need to make it look like my eyelid space is bigger than it is. Becky, I should challenge you to do this too. I am using just what is in the presenter's kit to do a full look. So, my eyebrows are the eyeshadow out of the palette you get when you first sign up. So, this is all we're using. It's the only eyeshadow palette I'm going to use. And I'm only going to use what I have from the presenter's kit for everything else. Like I said, the only thing I think I might have used, I used BB cream instead of... Um, foundation and I use some concealer but you don't need to use those what you doing I oh well, I just said it. I am making a full look out of just what comes in the presenters kit to show that you can use the makeup for multiple things oh well I'm sorry and Sears otherwise I I'm challenging Natalie to do it because it's going to be interesting because she loves, to, that girl loves her brow. And I'll see, we'll see. Well, this color is not too far off from what she normally uses. So it'll be fun to see her do this, tackle it, see how, how she does it. Because everybody does it differently. That's why different people watch different, different videos. Okay, so I need just a little bit more on this side almost looking like a cut crease with this purple color my eyelids being so light but hey Jess how are you so and I mean with a it, it almost looks and you can see with a it almost looks like a cut crease because I have I used my uh, concealer to prime my eyes and so you've got this real nice light area and see how that fakes makes my eye look less hooded because I've faked the crease up higher I took what mother nature gave me and improved on it because if you don't like something change it if you like it keep doing it the way you like to do it I mean, Natalie does makeup a lot different than I do. I do, a, if you watched our video together, you know that. <laughs> We're two interesting cats when you put us together. So, if you guys have any questions, just shoot me a question. I'll answer it while I'm getting this all done. I'm going to take the Benevolent, the Luminizing Powder again, on the Fluffy Crease Brush, because remember, I'm only using these two brushes. And I'm just going to put a little bit right there. Right there, get rid of this shadow. Try not to put 
put my makeup everywhere. There. And then you just blend. Blend and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend. I think that's probably one of the biggest keys. I rate these, I mean, young girls are doing this makeup and it looks so beautiful. But they've learned the art of blending. Okay. So, with what's just in this first kit. We got the eyebrows done. Got the crease done. Now we're going to do something. I think I'm going to use the cream shadow to line as a liner. Because you've all seen me do the dip and draw um, eyeliner. And if you haven't seen, I posted a couple pictures how long this stuff really lasts. I think I took a picture 30 hours after I put it on my hand, swatched it on my hand. And I did wash my hands multiple, multiple thousands of times. Because everybody's sick. Um, I think I did it at 30 hours and maybe 36 hours. I have to look at that um, picture that I put on my page here. It lasts forever. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't. I'm one of those that forgets and I kind of wipe my eyes. So that worked really well for that. Okay. So since I only have two brushes, I'm going to switch back to the cream shadow brush that comes. And then I am going to take Gentle, which is this shimmery, taupey shade. And I'm going to take that. I keep shutting my mirror. How in the heck am I going to see? All right. I'm going to take that shimmery shade, and I want the center of my eye to come forward and pop. So I'm just going to... And any of you guys, if you're watching, share this for me, okay? Share it far and wide. I don't care if I look like a fool to the ends of the earth. If you can give me a share, that would be awesome. I'd really, really appreciate it. So I'm taking this gentle color, and I'm putting it right in the middle and I like to place the color I'll place all the colors then I'll blend because then you get it right where you want it and then you can blend it so I'm gonna put this right in the middle because that's the part I want to come forward right there so you see I placed it right in the middle there now I am going to Take my fluffy crease brush, since I only have two, remember, I'm only using, and I'm going to buff the crease. Now you see how you just kind of stick it in there, right underneath that? I just buff it into the crease, and that blends that bottom color as well, because part of the brush hits your lid. Now you see? See that nice blending action? Got a dog growling at me. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Hey, Natalie, did you hear what I, I wanted you to do for a challenge? Since you challenged me to put makeup on a day that I appreciate it, though, because I needed to get out of my little my little shell today. Um, I wasn't feeling very good. But um, I challenged you to do a full makeup look, eyebrows, everything, with just what came in the presenter's kit. Which, I don't know if I messed up a little bit because I did use the BB cream and the um, concealer and I think you just get the foundation but all I've used so far is the primer the BB cream the concealer which you don't need and this palette the palette that comes in your presenters kit and your illuminating or your illuminizer powder and benevolent this is all this color, Natalie. Hey, Steph, how are you? So, I did my eyebrows. What do you think? What do you think of the eyebrows? I mean, I know they're, they're, could be a little bit more solid. Looks like I've got some gaps here. And I'm only using the two brushes that came with the kit. So, this is interesting. Oh, I'm going all Natalie here. Full Natalie. Full Natalie style. She always looks gorgeous though, so. There. See, just needed a little bit more. I tried to go lighter hand at first because I never know how it's gonna come out. And then, 
We va va voom it up, man. There. You can't hear anything. Why can't you hear anything? I don't know. Oh, your phone. Okay. Gosh, Natalie had me worried. I was like sitting here prattling on like a freaking gopher on weed here. And no one can hear me. So, that was my eyebrow. Good. I'm glad you can hear it, Jess. See, there's nothing to be afraid of, Jess. Everybody who watches you wants you to do good and, and loves the stuff. So, there's no, no judgment here. Trust me, if they haven't judged me, I can judge you. So, like I said, I'm only using the brushes I got in the presenter's kit, which are the two. Except for I did cheat. I did use the foundation brush. But, besides that, and I'm only using... <laughs> yeah, uh, funny story. We'll just, we'll just turn this into story time as I'm doing my stuff. Um, I... A year ago, January, someone knocked on my door and Fiona, where are you? I don't know where she is right now. Um, knocked on my door. I opened the door. We happened to be home on that Saturday. Usually we're never home. And she shoved a dog at me and a bag of food at me. And she said, here's Fiona. Here's her food. Turned around, walked away. Dumped her. And we had just lost our other dog. And so we had ended up keeping her. She was great with the kids. She jumped right in and uh, blended in with this crazy, crazy family that we got going here. And um, I go to get her fixed the next week and uh, I shave her down because she was so matted. She had ulcers on her eyes. She had ulcers on her back. Her feet, her nails were grown all the way into her pads. And this little dog didn't yipe, didn't bite, didn't. Bark nothing with all this pain. So, she let, she I think she sees ghosts. She growls like at random spots in the house. I don't know why. Yeah, but that was her growling. But not at me, just something behind me, which is kind of scary. Because I'm like, what's behind me that I don't know about? Okay. So, this, this little shadow, you see these little shadows I got right here? That's bothering the crap out of me. So, I'm going to take... This luminizing powder. Since I'm only using what I have here. And I'm going to go right on top of it. I usually can use concealer there. But I don't want to go back over with a cream product after I've just put powder everywhere. It's a craziness. So anyway, you get the idea. And I blend this to no end because I don't want it. To look harsh. I don't want that seam to be there. So that's it's kind of a cult craze. <laughs> it's funny. Hi Teresa. So I'm gonna leave it like that, I believe. Maybe I'll put a little bit of this luminizing powder in the corners of my of my eye here. Because we're leaving this kind of a neutral look because I'm not going to use the dip and draw eyeliner for once in my life. Oh, hi, Natalie. Did you hear my challenge? Oh, well, you didn't hear my challenge. Okay, so everybody's going to get me tired of saying this. I challenge you to do a full face. Besides, you can use the primer, the BB cream, and the concealer. But other than that, you can only use the fluffy crease blending brush and the cream um, shadow brush. And the original palette that you get in the presenter's kit, your luminizing powder, it comes with some lipsticks and mascara, just dropped that, and a cream shadow, but you have to do the whole look, because like, look girl, I did my eyebrows, I hope that wasn't the one I needed, um, I did my eyebrows, I don't look like Groucho Marx, well, I guess someone could say I look like Groucho Marx, but I did my eyebrows with this color, girlfriend. Me, first of all, be doing eyebrows. Hell has freezed over. Well, kind of has, actually. But, one, me doing eyebrows. Two, me doing eyebrows decently. Three, me doing eyebrows 
with just this brush. Oh, well, whatever, your kit. Just this brush. So that's it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm trying to show them that I, I'm using all this stuff in different ways. You don't have to just be with, just use it for what it's intended for because I never do that. So we have got our eyes done. Our eyes did, did, did. How does everybody like the eyes? Everybody like the eyes? What do you think? I mean, for just using these two brushes, I've got a pretty proud of myself right now the eyelids I like how they stay light so like I said before since I'm um, not what did I drop don't mind me scatterbrain um since I always use the dip and draw eyeliner I am gonna try and get out of my comfort zone and use Sorry, I think I dropped something I needed. Pardon ma. I'm back. That scared you, didn't it? Oh, thanks, Natalie. You always look good, though, so. You always look good no matter what you do. I, I said I thank you for getting me out of my bed today. I was having a really bad night and bad day. So, thank you, girl. I needed that. Some days I don't need that, but that today I needed that. Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do is use this splurge cream shadow. Oh, you can see outside. See my window? <laughs> what? Nothing. Go away. My son's in here trying to watch me. A little creeper. Yeah, a little creeper. I'm going to attempt to use this cream shadow has a liner. I don't know how this is going to work, guys. I'm using the cream shadow brush, but to get it as a liner, you have to get like a really fine fine tip on it. I'm like, struggling, struggling. Bad decisions have been made. Bad decisions have been made. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have two kids. Yes. One's nine and one's six. And they're more than I can handle. I try. I don't know how good I am, but I try. So since I don't want to mess with this nice light lid, I'm going to use this cream shadow in the shade Noble, which is that purpley steel gray shimmer. And I'm going to line my bottom lash lines. We're going to, we're going to see. I wouldn't, I I don't tight line with cream shadows, but um, that's another tip. You can tight line the top, and then, then it won't mess your the lightness below or above your eyes. Because if you tight line the top, you just take your lid like this, and you run your liner along there, and it makes the lash line look full and dark. So when you put on mascara, you don't have any of that lightness next to your lid. Between the lid and your mascara, I mean. Okay, going to attempt it. Gonna attempt it. Doing it, doing it. That's a song. Doing it, doing it, doing it right. Doing it, doing it, doing it. Yep. Well, now I'm gonna have that in my head all day. Okay. And everybody knows that you can use shadow for liner. It's not a big, you know, a big revelation there. But this is like, a, like I said, like a purple sparkle steely color and I like doing something that's a little bit different I do like the top how light it is though so that's why I'm gonna keep that like that and look I don't know if you can tell the color you gotta tell me if you can see the color what do you guys think of this eye look so far with a pop of color on the bottom. I kind of want to do, <laughs> I know, <laughs> back in LL Cool J, man. I like this color on the bottom. I kind of want to do it on the top, but I don't want to mess what I got with. So, this is supposed to be a simple look. 
which it is. And if you're not yakking like I am, you probably get it done in like seven minutes, most likely. No. I got my kid over here asking if he can get a game. He thinks that if I'm distracted, he can, you know, get something. But, but anywho, we're going to use this cream shadow on the other lash line. I know, this palette is awesome. Uh, Natalie's just saying she wants this palette. It's the what you get for being a presenter. And like I said... You can sign up, get the presenter's kit, and never ha never actually sell this stuff. Um, it's just a great deal for what you get in the palette for makeup-wise. Ah, bubbles! Getting a little sparkly in here. Should do an 80s look. We should make an 80s look current. That would be freaking awesome. Yep, they're both boys. Oh, well, boys can be just as much drama as girls, so... For everybody that says, oh, you need a girl. No, I don't need a girl. I'm good with the boys I have. I'm the queen in my house. And sometimes I look like a drag queen, depending on my makeup. So, you know, it works. Okay. Woo. I'm getting a little crazy with the eyeshadow here. Okay. What are we thinking of that? Yeah. Anybody who wants to know about this whole business. Okay, send me that look, Jess. I'll have to look at it. Yeah, anybody that wants to know about this whole business, just let us know. This is, I told uh, Natalie, yeah, Steph, if you let me know. Message me if you want it. Um, I can get that order for you. Uh, I'm not... I don't think I'm a girly girl. I like hair. I like makeup. I like doing it when I want to do it. But like I told Natalie going in, I said, I'm not planning on this being, you know, me doing this, first of all. But it's really helped. We have a really, really fun group of girls. We're not out to get each other. We're out to help each other. Even if, I mean, you don't want to make a business of it. It is the best group of girls to be in. They are so supportive, and you have so much fun. If you watch me and Natalie together when we do lives, and you don't laugh, something's seriously wrong. But we have a lot of fun together. I think everybody who's on here can attest to the fact that when Natalie and I get together, shenanigans ensue. So, what are we thinking about this? Like I said, I'm just using this, what I have here, because... My eyebrows are from my eye, um, eyeshadow palette. I couldn't think there for a minute. So I'll just go over it real quick again. This is my eyeshadow palette. This is called Marvelous. I did my brows with Marvelous. This is Agile, this purpley shade. That is what I use for my crease color. I use this Gentle, which is a shimmery, champagne-y, taupey color for my overall lid to blend. And then I just used the Cream Shadow in Noble um, for my under eye liner. You see that? You see the lids? You guys like it? My eyebrows look okay, Natalie? Uh, Natalie's my eyebrow um, checker upper. Oh, yeah. Bubbles is right. If you haven't watched the videos that we did on Saturday, right before the storm. It'll make your day. It will make your day. Natalie and I actually met um, when she moved up here. Her kids go to Glidden and my kids go to Glidden, even though I live in Lake City. So I met her when she was pregnant with her little Nash baby and started talking to her because I guess I could talk the bark off of a tree. But, you know, whatever. Okay. So, I'm going to take a little bit more of this luminizing powder. Just a little bit. I, I wiped off my brush here that I was using for eyeliner. And I'm just going to go right in the cupid's bow. This is how you get those lips to look plump. You just highlight right at the cupid's bow. 
and you can highlight down here too if you want. Hi Jill, how are you? So, like I'm saying, with just two brushes, if you take away the brush I use for foundation, which you can just use your hands. Yes, I've had the power of gab. I'm Irish through and through. I've just been using these two brushes for this whole thing. And this palette. And this cream shadow. So, and I got my lips all puffed out. I need to get lip liner. That does really help your your lipstick stay on. Okay, so let's do the mascara. And ladies and gentlemen, I have totaled up how many mascaras I have bought just, say, in the last two years. And it's numbering around 38, okay? And the only one that I ever keep using <laughs> is the Epic Mascara. It makes your lids, lashes look long, full, beautiful, it stays on all day, and I hate clumps. And this brush is so separating. I love it because I don't get clumps because I have long eyelashes, but I can't really, you know, usually put mascara on because I get so clumpy. But this mascara just separates and lengthens. And like I said, you can get this mascara. It'll come. You can sign up for it to come every so many days. And you, it's free shipping. So you'll never run out and you'll remember to switch it. Because girls, you need to switch your mascara. You can't be using the same mascara for years and years and years. You are going to end up getting an eye infection. So, um, it's nice that, you know, it comes in the mail. You get a little gift that day. You will pick me up and then you know to get rid of your other mascara so you're not getting any eye infections you're always having some fresh product on your eyes you only got one set of them better take care of them and then you can always change that too if you decide oh that's coming a little too soon not quite ready for it yet you can back it off and it's all online you don't have to talk to anybody you don't have to deal with anybody or if you want it sooner, you can get it shipped sooner at a higher frequency or just for that one time. So, yes, we are a fun bunch of girls. And anybody who wants to join us, Natalie and I are more than willing to, well, I'm more than willing to flat, fall flat on my face figuring it out and helping you figure it out. So, we just have fun. It's, it's not meant to be a chore you just gotta have fun with it because if you don't have fun with it I mean I wouldn't ever leave my house then and sometimes you just need to put on mascara and feel like a well in my case a hot mess but and feel glammed up and beautiful if that's what it takes for you to feel confident then do it don't let anybody else tell you you don't need that or you don't want that or what why are you doing that it's not trivial if it makes you feel good it is worth it you got enough serious stuff in life to deal with you just need to do what makes you feel happy and I just smeared that all over my cheek. Do you see that? Wonderful. So look, we got lashes. Look at them lashes. See them lashes? Even the lower lashes, which I never usually do. And then we've got that um, cream shadow for the liner at the bottom. And then we got the top. What do we all think of this look? Think it's a good look for us? For me? Whatever the case may be. I'm gonna start rhyming now. I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay, so one trick is if I always mess up, I get mascara everywhere. So after I do my mascara, I take like this blending brush that I was using and I just go over it real lightly, hold it way back at the end so you don't have so much pressure, and it basically just flips off the mascara so it doesn't ruin your look. So 
I got some here, so I'm just going to wait. You wait till it dries, and then you just kind of flick it off of the brush. I need me some of this highlighter right here. There. Yeah, today was a day that I could get out of bed, but some days can't. Just hope there's more good days than bad. Okay, so what were you thinking this look, ladies, that I just did? I am kind of liking it. It's something different. Especially with that purple at the bottom there. I don't want you all to see it on my nose, but I'm trying to show you. Okay. Oh no, I'm, 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 I think some people will beg to differ. I'm a usually a hot mess. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the lucrative lip gloss. You can also use this as an eyeshadow. This is Lux. And I'm going to put this on my lips. Why do I keep shutting the only, well, this has a mirror on it, which is nice. I keep closing up my other compact with my mirror on it. Okay. And then put this on here and then to give it some dimension, I think I'm going to take this gentle shade, which is that taupey It'll be shimmery champagne shade. I should really have this down since I've said it like 5,000 times. Anyway, I'm going to take a little bit of that gentle shade on my finger here. And I'm going to go right into the middle of my lips. Just tap a little bit. Tap it and then kind of use your finger and blend it out. So you kind of got an ombre. And the light's going to hit that and then highlight your lips. What do you think about that? See how much fuller they look? It's crazy. And I do use eyeshadow a lot like that. I usually just concentrate that shimmery shade that you like, pop a highlight or whatever in the corners of your eyes. I also use that in the center of my lips. And then it gets my lips a little dry right here. I need to get another of their lip balm bombs so I can moisturize that sucker right off there. But see, no, full look done. And I've been yakking at you. Thanks, Natalie. I've been yakking at you while I'm doing this. If you just did it instead of stopping and doing all the crap that I do, I mean, 10, 15 minutes, not that big of a deal. Natalie, my hair is still curly. I need to get me one of those. I'm going to message, or you can message me about it. She had the three barrel wave iron, and that's what this did. Don't look at my roots. They're a little greasy. I use cornstarch, my little hack, instead of dry shampoo when I don't have dry shampoo on hand. But obviously I didn't get to that today. But this is what her three barrel curling iron ooh, did. And that was on Saturday. And yes, I've taken showers. People, I'm not disgusted. I just put my hair up so my hair doesn't get wet. But that's what that wave iron did. So what do we think of this look? Doable? Yes? You like it? Like I said, there's nothing you should be afraid of with makeup. There's nothing you should be hesitant to try. And do what makes you feel beautiful. So, with that, I'm going to leave you lovelies for the day. And stay beautiful. Think happy little trees when you're doing your makeup. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, shoot me a message and I'll get back to you. Alright? Bye!